Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. This is for our beloved president. Um, Mr. President, I come to you again. The essence of leadership is problem solving. True leadership, Mr. President, is exhibited by the way you treat your enemies. Any leadership that is devoid of love for humanity, it defeats its purpose for its existence. Mr. President, I want to bring your attention to the issue of J.J. Banda. You, Mr. President, you were locked up for four months. And as a nation, we were not happy because we felt that was a traffic offense. It didn't need to be that way. Though other people felt you put the life of the president in danger at that particular time. But we felt that was unjustified. The international community, the entire nation, we cried until you were set free, Mr. President. If Lung wanted, he could have sent you to jail. You wouldn't be president today. If he went ahead and made sure you were convicted, you would not be president today. Mr. President, we appealed for mercy to President Lungo and he did what he had to do and he set you free without a single condition on the same matter. Right now we have JJ Banda in front of you, Mr. President. According to the law, when a person has been tried concerning one issue by the law, you're supposed to try a person on every matter related to that case or in one a person cannot be tried twice on the same case. That's not the law. Charging J.J. Banda with aggravated robbery for the reason to keep him in the cells for eternity so that he's locked up and caged. It's not love. It's not just fiber, Mr. President. Bagateka ayama kale sami pela ayama kavena zambe ba mi pela moya bomfia to punish your enemies nobody voted for you mr president to come and punish your enemies we voted for you as a nation to come and save us amaka mwa kwata aya bakapokola ya masoja appointing the chief justice and everything, every influence that you have today, Mr. President, it was given to you. Not to torment us. Not to pick us in Genko Kumaika Tila Pamukoshimu along my cells. Kai Dishanya to know Kai never got taken and Dikwata Makayonse. Marikwata Makayonse Vakatek. Tatulekana. Nimova President. You can do anything you want to anybody, including illegal things. Because you are there, you are that big man, you are that powerful man, you are the boss. As things stand. But as you sit there, wisdom demands that exercise the authority God has given you, the Zemen people, the power they have given you, with the strength. Restraining yourself. Exercise that authority, that power, with humility. Do not exercise that power with force. In times of judgment, when you are judging people, temper judgment with mercy. And let me remind you, Mr. President, 2026, 2026 this time for elections, 
only God knows whether you are coming back or you are going. As things stand, things don't look good on your side. I'm sure you are aware about that. But we can't judge. It's a Zambian people who will judge. Only God knows what is going to happen. We might have you back. We might have you gone. There is no guarantee you are coming back, Mr. President. So how you want to be treated, Mr. President? Treat ECL. How you want Mayoba Mutintawo to come and be treated? That's how you should treat Esther Lungu. How you want your children, your brothers and sisters, who might be getting some contracts by now, I'm saying might be getting some contracts by now from government. How you want your relatives, your children to be treated, that's how you should treat the children to predecessors. How you want your wife to come and be treated, treat somebody's wife just like that. How you want those your political children how you want those to be treated when you leave office that's how you should treat JJ Banda Mr. President if you want all those including uh, they worked well with Chimbaka Mbwiri on camera to promote tribalism if you want that man to come and be locked up in eternity I know what was happening before. I know one thug who went into central police and beat the hell out of the policeman and was never put behind bars. No one in any political party, in any political party, in any church, no matter how big that church is or small, will be allowed to enter a police station and beat policemen and get away with it. Actually, we are looking at that case now. I want that case to come back. I Finish Shashu Papa number. What's the problem? So hear me out, fellow citizens. You will not hide behind a political party. You will not hide behind the church. Inside the church or outside the church. You will not hide behind a civil society membership. Or oasis or anything. That will not protect you. You break the law, the police take you. No negotiations. Because he harassed me day and night. He's there. He locked me up 15 times. He put me under the death row for a crime I did not commit. When I took office, I said, I don't want to do what he did to me. If I do what he did to me, then I'm not different from him. I stand by that position up to today. But... You cannot use the former president's status to go out and break the law because you are not covered by that immunity. Please, those who are asking for immunity, this is not an issue. Leave his immunity. He continues breaking the law, soon he will be arrested. Simple. It's as simple as that. And We must be self-respecting for the community to respect us. That's what it means. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.